Okay, so what I've done here is made a sprite sheet full of colorful rectangles. This is basically going to be a loading sequence. So each image is 16 by 16. Uh, there are uh, four columns and three rows. <coughs> and I'm just going to have this animation looping. So, let's pop into our Eclipse workspace. First things first, uh, I have gotten rid of the old sprite sheet. Uh, and I've put, in a, I've put in the loading sheet. Uh, I'll have this up for download in the description. If I have forgotten again, just remind me. Uh, or you can make your own. Uh, so there's that. I've just popped that in there. And we're going to set up a couple things. So, first thing is the public static texture, of course. And that's going to be the uh, texture sheet. Let's just call it sheet. Be asked With the... <laughs> Texture shit, public static. We're gonna. I'm gonna introduce something called the texture region, which is basically a sprite. It's it's basically the same shit. Texture region, and this is gonna be an array. Uh, so it's literally gonna be an array full of all these texture regions, basically. So you know, tex uh, the the first one will be this one, and then the second one will be this one, and so forth. You remember arrays. You should do anyways. Um, we're going to title this Sheet Frames. In fact, we'll just title it Frame. Ah, yeah, Sheet Frames is alright. Public, Static, uh, and just a standard texture region. And this is going to be our current frame. Okay, so that's the one that will be currently rendering. And we are also going to need an animation object. So, you know, loading animation. Alright, let's set it up. Now, this is going to be a bit of grueling code. First line, though, you'll be familiar with. In fact, you'll be familiar with all this code. It's just going to be a bit messy. Files.internal. And I'll introduce you to, like, you know, files.external and shit like that. In, like, tutorial 40 something. Uh, so next thing is we're going to create a temporary texture region multi-dimensional array. Uh, yeah. And we're literally, it's literally going to be the texture region dot split. It's literally going to contain uh, the textures from the texture sheet but in a multi-dimensional array for a reason I don't know. Uh, if, if I could be bothered to actually look into it I would know but you know what? I just I just went with it. The width. Uh, so we're just gonna get. So this is the width of each tile. All right, and that is 16 by 16. All right. Awesome. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now we're gonna get our sheet frames, which is just a single array, and that's gonna be equal to a new texture region. Uh, 12, because we've got 12 images. Yeah? Alright. We've got 12 images. So there's going to be 12 images in our sheet frames. Now we're going to make an index of O. I'm going to do a for loop into I equals O. I'll explain this bit after I've written it. Just go with it for now. Okay, now you're thinking, what the fuck? Maybe, if you, if you're if you're clever, then you, then you'll spot what I've done. If you haven't spotted what I've done, you're not stupid. It's okay. I'll walk you through. It, okay. So, what have I done here? <coughs> I've got a temporary index uh, variable. Okay, that's just to count, you know, each texture one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to twelve. All right. Um. And I've also got a dual for loop. Okay, this is going through everything in this. Okay, this is going through all the textures in the temp. Okay, so this first for loop is uh, how many you, literally, okay, when you're doing animations, just copy this and this number is going to be the amount of rows you've got and this number is going to be the amount of columns you've got. Okay? It's going to get the temp 
it's going to insert the num uh, you know the uh, the col the row number column number and then tempest going to be like oh, okay uh, so you want so it's going to loop through all the column and row numbers uh, eventually reach up to like you know row number 2 and column number f 3 so row number 2 column number 3 oh so you want this one all right i'll i'll, I'll set that one to uh, number 2 of sheet frames okay so this is going to be going you know 1 2 3 4 it's going to be setting that's confusing don't worry uh it's kind of confusing f well i mean i i get it i understand it but it's confusing to explain uh, just go with it you 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 should be able to get that you should uh i mean you, you're probably familiar with this from the well generation tutorial uh, sorry, the random generation tutorial, which again, hopefully you kind of understood. Anyways, let's move on. So, second thing we need to do, we actually need to flip all these images, because we haven't done that yet. So, we're going to go for int i equals o i 12 i plus plus. And so, this we're just going to be looping through all 12 images, okay? Sheet frames i dot flip. And this is for easier to look at. So we're literally going to go through this uh, method 12 times. So we sheet frames uh, 1, uh, sheet frames number 0, we're going to flip it, sheet frames number 2, we're going to flip it, sheet frame number 3, we're going to flip it, and so forth. After we've done all that bullshit, we're going to go loading animation. And this is our animation object, new animation. Uh, we're going to have each uh, frame play at 0.2f. That's 0.2 seconds per frame. You can just play around with that. And we're going to get our frames from the sheet frames. Wow, okay, so hopefully you're okay with that. We're going to move back to our game screen now. So the first thing is I'm going to create a float called state time. And this is literally just going to keep track of time. Okay, because we need to keep track of time because, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, and this is going to be state time is equal to OF. At first, when we create it, we want it equal to zero. So once the uh, game loop kicks in, we want to set that equal to delta. And I haven't spoken about delta, actually. Delta is, just thinking about it, as, how do I explain delta? Okay, so I have a definition of delta on Wikipedia. Delta time or delta timing is a concept used amongst programmers in relation to hardware and network responsiveness. Okay. So we're not talking about networking. We're talking about graphics programming. So here it says in graphics programming the term is usually used uh but for is usually used but for variably updating scenery based on the elapsed time since the game last updated and also calculated separately if graphics are being multi threaded. So basically it's the time since the game last since the last frame. That's literally it, okay? Awesome. Got that out the way. Uh, now we can march on with the rest of this. And then we're going to have assets dot sheet. It basically knows how fast or slow the game's running, but it's, don't get it confused with FPS. Dot, whoops, current frame, that's what we named it, yeah. Equals assets dot loading animation, that's our animation object. And then get keyframe, we're going to put in the delta and we are going to make that true. And now we literally just draw it. So batch dot draw assets dot sheet dot sorry current frame. Uh that's gonna be uh, two for six or two for two for six. So let's run this. And uh, it is very tiny, but you can see it right there. Okay, right there. Uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, the reason it's tiny is because it's a 16 by it's a 16 by 16 image, and your and your camera is 1920 by 1080. If your camera was smaller, the image would look bigger. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastically brilliant day. I'll see you next tutorial. Bye bye.